Hello, my Taurus friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for coming to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name's Indigo, and I'm going to be bringing you your February 2018 love reading. Um, with this being February, the month of love, this reading will be focused on that only. Um, if there are other messages, of course, I will bring them forward, but um, this reading is concentrated on love. I want to thank you guys once again for, for coming to my channel. Without you guys, um, it would not be possible for me to do what it is I do every day and get to do what I love. So for that, I am greatly appreciative. And with that, getting or with that, we will get started. The first four cards will be your energy, um, representing the weeks in February. The fifth card being your overall energy towards the relationship. The second row is for anybody you are thinking of, who you are dating, who you are married to, whatever. Whoever you are connected to or you are thinking of, wanting to be with, etc. That is their row. And then the third row will be the um, future of your guys' relationship. Spirit and Angels, can I have four cards representing Taurus's energy, weeks one through four of February 2018? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. You gave me four right off the bat. That's awesome. Okay. And one. Thank you, Spirit. Now, whoever it is they are thinking of. Four cards representing the first four weeks. Can I have three more, please, Spirit? I have one for their overall energy, too many as well, one for their overall energy of the month of February, my goodness, okay, we're going to keep this one, okay, and the last row, is their future of their relationship together? What do you see for Taurus in love and their future relationship? Okay. Just give me one second. I will get the messages for this reading. Okay. So for a lot of you Tauruses, you're going through a kind of a difficult time um, in love is what I'm kind of getting as the overall um, outlook of this reading. Let's see. Um, but February looks like it could be turning around for you. Let's see. Why is this Queen of Cups here for Taurus in February 2018? Okay. <clears throat> so Taurus, you guys have a lot to offer. You are vibrating at a high level right now. A lot of you have been doing a lot of work on yourself um, in order to get to a point where you feel you are emotionally ready and... Um, to give your love away, as well as you are the Nine of Pentacles, you are grounded, you are nurturing, you are financially stable on your own, you, you are just kind of the whole package with these two cards. With the um, 
Queen of Cups. You possibly could have been holding off on offering your love to anybody just out of fear um, of being hurt. Why is this Three of Pentacles in reverse? Spirit, why is this Three of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, that one wanted to come out. Um, the person you are connected with, your soulmate, your um, person you're in a relationship, whoever you're thinking of, <clears throat> they, um, let's see. They could just be coming out of a relationship um, that was filled with conflict, um, lots of fighting. Um, this could... This could actually, Taurus, be this one. Just give me one second. Let me get the messages. Okay, for a group of you, I'm getting that this is the a relationship that you are currently in. So there could have been a third party in your guys' past and causing a lot of conflict between the two of you. And... The overall energy of that is the Five of Cups being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So for a group of you, you could be um, choosing to move on and causing you to mourn the loss of this relationship, but you are going to be just fine. You have the Nine of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So you're going to be just fine for those group of you. For a different group of you, um, you have come out of a relationship where there was a third party and you have worked on yourself. You have worked hard. You have done what it takes to heal and um, you are waiting for to be with somebody to um, until they are ready for a relationship. You have your eye on somebody that is currently getting out of their own karmic relationship and you are just patiently waiting. For the group of you who are getting out of that relationship or are currently in a relationship with somebody that was in a third party, you are feeling out of balance and it's time to heal. Um, the second week of February, you are going to realize that this relationship is no longer um, serving you and you are going to move on. And your partner agrees in this. Their Ten of Cups is no longer Build, they're emotionally spent and they have a choice now to the two of you have a choice of whether to stay together or to go <clears throat> can I get a clarifying card for this temperance please okay so for those of you who are out of balance you have had a choice to make you were indecisive. Now it is in reverse. So you are making a choice and you are going to make a choice towards something stable. You feel like you're in a relationship that is not, um, not stable whatsoever, emotionally or financially. Um, and you're going to make a choice. Um, your partner has the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And then the Death card. So this cycle is going to come to an end. We have 10, 10, and the Death card. Um, it is time to end this karmic relationship that you are currently in. It's no longer serving either one of you. And then can I infuse spirit? And once the truth comes out in regards to this Lover's card... Um, one of you or both of you are going to choose to move on and move to calmer waters with that six of swords. Can I get the three of wands, a uh, clarifying card for the three of wands, please? Why is this three of wands here?
Why is this Three of Wands here for Taurus in the third week of February? Oops, that one wanted to pop out. Temperance. So, yeah, you guys right now are unsure of which way to go, which, which direction is going to bring your ships in, but you just know whatever way you go, you want balance. You want healing. You're tired of being hurt. You're tired of feeling like you are second. Um, wow. <laughs> you are tired of feeling like you're second and you're tired of the lying, the cheating, the sneaking around, the betrayal, the sneaking off, the secrets, and the heartache of this third party. Why is this? Why is this tower here in reverse for Taurus's partners? Okay, so your partner could be um, holding off on letting this tower fall down even though it is already in the works because they are worried about financially um, being stable after the breakup. They're worried about money, how things are going to work out. And why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay, so either you or your partner, whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, could possibly be offering their cup to a fire sign or a Sagittarius. More specifically, um, but just a fire sign in general, being this is a general reading, and that could be what's causing the heartache. Um, the third that could be the third party. And why is this Knight of Cups here for Taurus in the fourth week of February? Ooh, that one went flying. Okay. Oops. Okay. After, um, so you do have in the fourth week of February, the Knight of Cups. So you are going to make a love offer to somebody. Um, after you get the truth and you are going to hope to have a new start with this person, um, a fresh beginning and after this death card here and transitions happen cycles and you are wanting a fresh start with somebody Taurus why is the hanged man in reverse for Taurus's partners in the fourth week of February so your partner is in the hanged man upright or in reverse <clears throat> So they ha they are going to go soul deep, look deep within, and they are going to be enlightened to the situation. Um, and they are going to realize that they have to make a choice, a choice of one of two paths. They put in a lot of work and into this relationship, and they need to decide whether it's you, Taurus, that holds the Ten of Cups for them or somebody else. Why is this strength here in reverse or in the upright? So spirit is saying to have strength the last week of February. You do have control over the situation and you do have help from the divine. <clears throat> you are going to uh, come out of that feeling of being abandoned, taking advantage of being used um, for financial gains. Um, you do have the Ten of Swords, so you are going to be ending this cycle of being betrayed, feeling uh, backstabbed, lied to, and um, it's going to allow you to 
once again, make your offer of love to somebody. Your overall energy of the month, Taurus, is the star, which is amazing. And we are in the, the time of Aquarius. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. Why is it? So, um, clarifying your star, you had the nine of swords in the reverse. So you are getting out of your head about this relationship. You have been hoping, wishing, and praying that something would allow you to get over this heartache, to end this heartache, to put this heartache behind you, and that wish is coming true. You are going to be able to get out of your head about this relationship and move on. Why is the Seven of Swords here in reverse for their partner? Okay, so um, your partner has the Seven of Swords in reverse. So their overall energy is um, that they're coming out of this time of sneaking around, lying. Um, they have the Four of Wands in reverse. So um, they are realizing that their betrayal, their cheating, their sneaking around has caused this relationship to... Um, to not be successful and it has caused the passion in the relationship to die out and they are going to bring in truth and passion um bring in messages to you but it's going to be too late i feel um for you taurus i feel you have had enough you are done with the bullshit and you are moving on to um something else because you guys' overall energy for the whole reading is a page of cups in reverse. So you are not going to be making a love offer to this person that you are specifically in a relationship with now, in a in a relationship with, in separation from, thinking about, whatever have you. Why is this page of cups in reverse? Because there's just been too much heartache that has been centered around this relationship. Um, and you are going to have your wish come true. And you are going to get whatever it take, needs, whatever you need to get over this relationship. Yeah. And you are eventually going to block communication with this person. Um, yeah, you have the five of cups in reverse. You are going to be able to move on from this relationship and choose somebody that actually loves you. I do see a uh, new love coming in for you, Taurus. Um, very shortly after this relationship ends. Any other messages you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus that they need to know and love for February 2018? Any messages for Taurus? Oops, not that many. In love. Any other messages? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So like I was just saying, I do feel you guys have a relationship coming in very quickly after this one ends because it is going to cause a completion point. It's going to cause um, transformations to come full circle and your world to start a new with the fool card. Um, so this one popped out. And then this one popped out, the Six of Pentacles. You are going to find a relationship that is in balance, that is um, an equal give and take, and is going to be an abundance of love and emotion, and is going to love you for you. They are not um, going to be in it for anything other than loving you and you loving them in return. Oops. So you can get out of this position of wishing you were enough because you are more than enough and 
do not take this personally for this person treating you the way that they did because um, Spirit is saying you gave all you had to this relationship. Them being bored and uncontent with the relationship was not anything of you, but it was part of their soul. I mean, it was part of your guys's karmic relationship together. Um, so spirit is saying, do not let yourself get trapped in your head about what went wrong here, because you will see when the page of cups or page of swords comes in with the truth that it's just best if you move on and move to something more spiritually guided, move to something that is more emotionally fulfilling because this is what you have waiting for you. You have this. As soon as you allow your um, your time with that you're in right now to come to an end because <clears throat> you deserve so much more. You deserve this Ace of Cups, this emotion overflowing, true love, passion um, in it for an equal give and take. Any other? Oh. Yeah. So Spirit saying it's time to move on. Um, move on and begin that healing of the temperance card, which you had pop up twice. Um, because you have a beautiful new love coming in just right around the corner. As soon as you let go of this relationship you're currently in, or if you're in separation from somebody, um, to allow that to end as well, because you guys have a beautiful, beautiful new relationship coming in, in March is what I am seeing. So this will not resonate for everybody. Um, if you are in a happy relationship. Um, obviously this is not for you. This is for somebody who's already to the point of wondering, what do I do next? Where do we go from here? Um, so only take this if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, then, um, maybe I'll catch you next time. But, um, I hope you guys have a beautiful February and, um, keep watching my channel. I'm going to be giving away different love readings during the month of February in um, celebration of the month of love. So, um, if this doesn't resonate with you, you're more than welcome to check me out at indigogoddess1111.com. Um, fill out a form and book a personal reading with me. I will get to you as soon as I can. Um, I am very booked. So, um, if you don't hear back from me right away, please be patient. I will, um, return an email to you with as soon as I can book for you, um, other than that, I think that's all I have. So I hope you guys have a great month. I hope you um, keep healing, keep working on yourself, and know that when one door closes, another one opens. So um, with that, I'm sending you all love and light, and I will see you next time. God bless.